the United States should not be in the business of warrantless searches of dragnet surveillance of American citizens. I am here today to join my colleagues, Republicans and Democrats, because we need reforms to our intelligence programs to achieve two goals. First, better protections for Americans' privacy, and second, more accountability and transparency. I am deeply troubled by the Trump administration's reckless disregard for the rule of law and repeated attempts to flout our Constitution. But I want to be clear about this issue. Opposing warrantless mass surveillance is not a partisan issue. It is not just about which party controls Congress or which party controls the White House. That's why I am glad to be here today with people from both sides of the aisle. The Section 702 program was passed because our intelligence community needed new 21st century tools to obtain critical information about foreign threats to our national security. But far too often and for far too long, these programs have been turned into a back door to monitor the emails and the phone calls of American citizens who are not national security threats. And that's why Congress must step up and put guardrails in place that ensure that Section 702 is used for its intended purpose, to keep us safe from foreign threats. I've joined the other senators here today in supporting Senator Wyden's USA Rights Act to establish new privacy protections that make sure that our intelligence gathering is focused on achieving our national security goals without destroying our privacy rights. Until we take real meaningful steps to protect the constitutional right to privacy and to add more accountability to the intelligence system, the Senate should reject reauthorization of Section 702.